Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and crawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 12 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting at a groovy South Korea Super. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's well, go. our stat guys are ready to score takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Covered with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker, both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the Whoa! mat. She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Effective punch there by Angela Hill. Oh, well, you saw us reference that reach. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! Oh my God! Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Oh! Massive kick to the body. Back and forth we go! Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. And they separate. Oh, 
Big kick lands. Oh, the right hand is there for him. Well, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open for damage, and that's exactly what she did there as she eats the uppercut. Let's see if she circles out and tries to prevent any further damage here. Again, back into this position. Oh! Nice one-two there. That shot blocked by him. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Not there. Oh, nice combination there by Angela Hill. Just out of range with the big right hand. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Superman punch. Big kick land. Another clinch position. Big elbow there, Lance. Huge knee to the body, that was something to in the face. Caution, flammable, that horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attack. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh! oh. Nice job with that knee strike right there. She's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Oh! Hill gets in the clinch yet again. Whoa! Can't take the finish out. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do? Tuck the chin, hand fight. You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands. Because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet. And if worse comes to worse, give up the mount. Right. Because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll see if she can escape here. Hill gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Oh, man, I thought that was going to connect, but once again, she's just super effective at slipping strikes. Little small movements. None of her actions are big. It's slight movement right, slight movement left. So finally, that's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Keep the press going on the 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ten yeah, minutes in the, in the books. books. So a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Big kick land. Just misses there with the left. Oh! Huge right hand! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Gets up again here, but hurting. Just a slip there. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting a sandwich. Oh, 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 that's a Paris. Wow! Oh! Holy smokes! Take a look back at some of the pictures from this one, and she had it all going on tonight, but certainly her boxing was on point. Her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights. Finally, she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Super! Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.